So I just got back from Wilmington, Delaware. And while I was gone, we had torrential rain that washed out roadways, did significant damage here in the Midland and mid-Michigan area. And now the Titabawassee River is on a rampage. Back in 1986, we had a really, really bad flood here. I wasn't alive, of course. It crested at 33.9 feet. And then in 2014, it crested at 28 feet. And that's as bad as it's gotten. But I'm walking out on the bridge of doom. Look how high that water is. It's usually way down below here. The authorities aren't trying to keep us off of here, so I'm guessing it's okay. So this right here is a walkway underneath Saginaw Road and it's not so usable right now. It's like we got another lake. We actually, Sanford Dam is just right over there. We'll head over there in a second, but it is just, everything's flooded right now. So the dam flooded and we're going to get more rain tonight. That's just crazy. All right, so now we're coming up to the end of Maple Street. See people over there. Their houses are underwater. It's coming in from the river. It's flowing water. Gosh. Yeah, people are just dreading the day that 86 flood happens again. This that I'm walking on is called the Rail Trail. For those of you who don't know, over the Pier Marquette Railroad used to come through here. And now it is a bike trail that goes from uh, Midland to Clare and it's actually extended beyond to Ludington I believe because I know it goes through Clare and Farwell. Chased our and our auto sales out. Yeah, I'm not trusting about right there. Good. This is the highest it's ever been, right? That's the up. Oh, they said it's never across the road. You know why? Why? We just bought that building last week. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so, Yeah, we just. I understood. You can you can walk down in there. Oh, down I'm where the mother people are down there, the road's caving. It's heaved up and it's bowing over. And wow. We had people yeah. still trying to drive through. And we went home last night at seven. When we went home, the water was just coming up this side, you know and it was it was between that telephone pole and the R and R sign. All of that. And then some friends of ours. I was parked right over there last night, like right in front of the ear building. Oh, was you? Yeah. There was two cars still there this morning. First thing this morning. Oh gosh, they're probably the two I parked next to. And they just got it out. One of them didn't have a license plate on it.
picnic tables tried to make a run for it during high water but fortunately a strong control of the Salt River Rail Trail Bridge retained them until they could be captured. So the river is still kind of high it just needs to sink back below its banks now it just needs to sink back to its original level. Typically you can wade across it, but right there it's, it's a dangerous. And there's the lake. Hey YouTube, I'm here at the Seven Mile Bridge in Sanford and as you can see the floodwaters have cleared and life is starting to rebuild. This video is dedicated to everybody that um, is struggling during these aftermath flood events. Uh, send in lots of love and lots of prayers your guys' way. So take care, God bless and come see us in Sanford sometime.